What's up, guys? About another video. All right, so it's been a while uh, since the What If update uh, went live, and I haven't talked about this guy, Wen Wu. All right, so Wen Wu is a paywall character with a paywall uniform. So uh, mine is still on normal because I don't have the bios or I don't have a Mega Mythic uniform ticket. But I will try to uh, do a little showcase with him. So as you can see, his energy attack is at 48,000. Uh, defense are pretty low. And HP is at 79,000. Uh, all his stats are capped except for his crit rate. And his cooldown. But uh, you can soft cap his crit rate because he does have a buff. Uh, his abilities are pure evil and agility. Alright, as you can see, all his gears... Uh, he only has four star Uru on there. Uh, let me see about his crit damage. Okay, yeah. Uh, alright, so he has a rank four type enhancement, stage seven overdrive, no artifact, a dodge 140 proc obelisk. Alright, so the skills is tier two passive. He has super armor on defense and 45 25 skill damage bonus damage. Uh, his four star passive applies to super uh, villains, a 30% increase of HP. And his leadership also applies to super villains with a debuff removal and a recovery of 10% of HP for five seconds on a 20 second cooldown. So he's basically a support for villains only. Uh, he's basically a PvP support character. Uh, his tier three, he does have incapacitation and paralysis. Uh, ignore dodge rate, invincible, and increase all basic attack by 50%. <clears throat> the first skill has stun. Second, just a regular energy attack. Third, has incapacitation, 25% heal. The fourth skill has the 60-35 uh, frenzy buff. Like I was saying, uh, you can solve cap his crit rate. And the fifth skill has stun, silence, incapacitation, 80% chance to penetrate, and invincible. All right, so with that being said, all right, we're going to check out the skills. <clears throat> all right, and we're going to the practice combo right here where they want you to do four, delay, three, delay into the five. So he has a lot of delays in his uh, rotation. So, all right, so you want to do the four, he slams down, three, wait till he slams on the ground, then hit the five. So it's a lot of there's a lot of delays. All right, now with the tier three, I want you to do tier three, delay, slam down four, delay three, slam down five. All right, so all right, so we're gonna take this guy into some World Boss Legend content. All right. So, with that being said, we're going to go to Noel. I'm going to see. I know it's a little high for him, but I want to see what he can do with stage 34. In which, with Win Wu, since he's uh, a human supervillain, right, he can do stage 1 to 9. Then, uh, 10 to 14, because he's human. Then, 15 to 19, because he... Like I said, he's human also, and he's a male, so human male uh, cannot do that or that. All right, 30 to 34, then 35 to 39, 40 to 44, and then we have 45, uh, that's it. Yeah, that's as far as he can go. Oh. Well, he can go. He can do well. He can go up to stage ninety. Uh, like I said, use him as a leadership in that role, I guess. All right, but right now we're gonna go ahead and try him on stage thirty-four of Noel. All right, so we're gonna use this team with uh, Riri Ironheart. As you can see, she has a fifty-five percent increase of energy attack, and she has a support passive. And we're using Enchantress also for her support. So we're going to see what this uniform can do <clears throat> at normal. So he's, he doesn't have a lot of the uh, extra stats like the uh, all defense. 
uh, double energy attack, uh, a little bit more HP. So we'll just see what we can work with here. All right, so we're gonna do four, slam down three, slam down five. Yeah, not bad, not bad. All right. Okay, all right. Not bad at all. All right, so we'll do this. And I got caught by the cage, okay. Not bad. And I got caught by the cage again. Yeah. All right, three, three to eleven, three eleven. We're gonna clock it at three eleven, which is pretty slow. <clears throat> eh, not bad, but eh, could could have been better. Could have been better. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, stage 34 is a little bit too high with my build. Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. That was okay for Wenwu. I'm not going to really do too much with this guy. Uh, you're basically not going to use this guy for uh, World Boss Legend anyway. Uh, definitely not for ABX and ABL since he's a blast. Super villain. Magneto holds that. Bar none, in which his uniform will be coming up. Should be here soon. Uh, like all the other winter uniforms, like White Fox, uh, Black Cat, so on and so forth. But uh, Win Wu is basically just a super villain support, really, because he has the supports for uh, extra HP, debuff removal. Uh, so. This uniform is basically just, <laughs> he has longer hair. That's it. So, yeah, you're getting the same support, really, with his base form. So, really nothing new. So, uh, yeah, with this update, it's kind of lackluster, I guess. Uh, we had the only good uniform out of this was Supernova Nebula for ABX, uh, Combat Female Day. So she did shine on that one. So <clears throat> Nebula, it was kind of like the winner in this update. Uh, we did get a free character in Cohorty. So that's okay. Uh, let's see. Because she does have one thing that other characters don't have if you don't have their uniforms. And where she at? There she is. All right. The only thing she does have working for her, she has a cosmic cube for the ability. And you need uh, two other characters that has this ability, but you need their uniforms is Captain America and Red Skull. And that is, if you're doing a uh, dispatch, it will be 9-1. 9-1, you need clear one or more character with cosmic cube abilities. So, 
that's the one character that's pretty much useful in that uh, area if you don't have any uniforms like the Hydra Cap or the Red Skull uniform, the new one. So, but she's pretty cool though. I did a video on her. She's very proc friendly, pretty strong for a um, an awakening character. Not bad. Uh, Hella. She this uniform is more PVE focused, technically, so it's not bad. So she really did hit like a like a tank, even though I had a mighty CTP of authority on her. She really surprised me, and as you can see, no Odin blessings. All her skills were at level six. Uh, stage nine overdrive. Uh, do have the artifact and uniform mythic. And then, like I said, Nebula was really the best uniform out of this whole update. Uh, Cause she's uh, that way you don't have to do the whole. Switching back and forth with She-Hulk, Titania, and Valkyrie. In which I was just using Valkyrie uh, for that one. Uh, <clears throat> so that's going to be my take on the What If update. Uh, the best part really was story mode. When you can convert your fragments into other fragments if you need, need be. So you got normal conversion and guaranteed. So that's... Really the best part of the uh, update. So, y'all let me know what y'all guys think of the What If uh, update. Yes, it could have been better. But, maybe we got something better that's coming off in the works. So, let me know what y'all guys think. Uh, smash that like button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.